a lot of credit has to be given to the YouTuber buy the rumor sell the news the folks on stock tweets ray of 808 say night you know these guys have been going ahead to do the necessary due, 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 due diligence concerning blue sphere and we have you know continued to you know get updates and all that stuff you know these guys are doing a, a, a heck of a great job you know so it seems Charles Schwab is by far the most uh, less regulatory of the platforms. You know, if you remember also that after the halt was lifted concerning Blue Sphere, they remained the probably one of the few platforms that continued to um, serve uh, Blue Sphere stock. You know, that's also the platform we are on. You know, um, well, moving on to, from that, we can see that. Um, the folks at uh, TD Ameritrade, they are not going to be serving, it seems, um, Blue Sphere in the coming sessions, in coming days. We can see that uh, Blue Sphere is on their list. You can see it there, Blue Sphere is there, the shaded um, stock. So, but it seems uh, based on what by the news uh, pointed out that um, Charles Schwab might continue to serve uh, Blue Sphere after the 25th of May or thereabouts. So, on going on, we can see that Blue Sphere has held, held has held account of itself uh, during this past week, even though it retraced for the session of the 20th of uh, May 2021. You can see what's going on here. This is the daily model of Blue Sphere on the Street Smart Edge. You can see it's currently based on that daily model. It is trading in between its short-term trend lines. And uh, let's have a look at the daily, uh, the one-minute model first of all before we proceed. You can see where it is right now. Um, based on the one-minute model, it's below the the longer term trend lines which is the 200 day the 50 day the 200 day but uh, slightly above the 50 the 20, 10 day and the 10 day and 10 day and the 20 day this is based, based on the one minute model but if we return to the daily model we can see that on the daily model uh, it's in between those short term trend lines and also slightly below the volume weighted average price but above the the 50 day and 200 day this is what the daily model is saying so based on the daily model it's you know just cool enough you know just cool enough you know and then on the weekly model we can see that on the weekly model is pretty much the same in between the 10 day and the 20 day more trend lines or rather uh, moving averages i should rather say uh, but um, still very much are trading at a premium to the 50 day and the 200 day this is the weekly model and then on the monthly model on the monthly model we can see that uh, it's way too wide let's uh, bring it back way too wide you can see what's going on here on the weekly weekly model we can see it is very much ahead of those moving averages so all in all the stock has been uh, on the weekly model it's on the monthly model it's very much um, bullish you know but on the on the daily model you can see it is very much you know um, to some extent it's just consolidating based on our opinion you know yeah so all in all, the stock has held a good account of itself over this past week, and um, yeah, we'll continue to update you concerning it and continue to watch and see how things go. So uh, thanks again to these guys for their coverage of Blue Sphere. Thank you very much.